Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Real Quick episode 25. We are going to be talking about the Oscars. I am sat alongside my beautiful co-hosts, Seth and Tyler. Cam will be joining us in a little bit. Uh, he's going to be a little late, so no worries there. Um, very simply, guys, Oscars are in three days. Uh, so we figured let's drop this episode, run through all the categories, give you our predictions, especially now that all of the other major award shows have concluded. Uh, our predictions, I know mine at least, have slightly changed. Um, that doesn't change who I want to win, but it definitely changes my predictions of who is going to win. And I'm sure it's the same for the other gentlemen with me. Um, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. We are going to run down. Uh, it's an alphabetical order on the Oscars.org website that we are looking at. So let's get right into it. The first category is actor in a leading role. This is a two-man race in my mind between Austin Butler and Brendan Fraser. I think Colin Farrell picking up the Golden Globe was sick, but I don't think that has enough momentum coming into Oscar season. Seth, who's taking actor in a leading role home? Um, it's a bit different with me because obviously I don't follow the other award shows like you, and I know that they kind of have a an impact on you know campaigns or whatever. But I would probably say, and I've said this in the start, I think that Austin Butler's performance will will get him the win. I, I'm pretty. 80 80 90 percent on that i think austin Butler. yeah yeah i i think i don't it's so hard to say who's the clear favorite because colin farrell colin farrell jesus it's my bad brendan of- frazier just picked up critics choice and bafta which are huge yeah. um so i think that edges him a little bit but i do think the oscars just loves a biopic way too much to not pick austin butler Tyler, that's all i'm like thinking about biopic yeah, that's all that's running through my head right now. So this is a biopic. Oh, God, here we go. What's going to happen? Tyler, who's taking this award home? Yeah, so right now the the, the betting favorite is Brendan Fraser. Um, I think the precursors oh. lately, he's been he's been ticking some stuff off. But for me, that just doesn't make sense to me completely. Like, I again, you guys know, like, I'm, like, higher on the whale than probably anyone you guys know. But, like, this movie, like, it just doesn't make sense because this movie's getting, like, no steam. Like, it's not nominated for pictures, not nominated for, like, anything else. So you'd think, like, like – and Boz Lerman's like Elvis has been overperforming this award season, especially at like the BAFTAs and stuff. So I just feel like since Elvis as a whole as a movie just has so much more momentum than the whale. And I feel like the the common opinion on the whale just keeps getting more negative and negative the more I see it on Twitter. Like I feel like Austin Butler should get the win. But Brendan Fraser has a better change, story. Anything? Does what change in, anything? In like in, in, in previous uh Oscar shows, or whatever, has it changed it where it will depend on how that film is performing as well as just the performance. Will that change things? I don't really know. Uh, George, so I know we, I know a lot of people didn't like Bohemian Rhapsody, but did that get nominated for like Best Picture and stuff? Yeah, so, I got okay. nominated for Picture. Obviously, won Oscar. It got a couple of like costume and makeup and hair design awards uh, okay. uh, yeah. nominations. Um, I yeah, the whale being snubbed like across the board except the actor kind of makes me think Brendan Fraser is going to win this award just because it's the only thing they're nominated for. I don't think they want the whale to walk home without an award. And this is the only option they have. And I think it's one of those options where it's like, if they pick Brennan Frazier, it's not like the craziest thing in the world. Like he's picked no. up two other major yeah. awards. Yeah. I mean, I, w- I would like Austin Butler to win, but I would be bit, like, it's like 51 49. Like I'd be equally happy yeah. with both those men taking it home. I mean, Colin Farrell too, yeah. but I mean, like, like looking at the betting betting favorites too, because like I feel like those are pretty closely tracking. Like it is a two man race, like George said. Like really, anyone except Bill Nye, I'd be happy to see win. Like Paul Mescal, yeah. Colin Farrell, Austin Butler, Brendan Fraser. So if they want to do something crazy and give it to Farrell and Mescal, like I'll be happy with that. Um, but yeah, like Bill Nye is the one I would Mezcal, really love. You're going to see me go absolute feral on TikTok, on Twitter and TikTok if they <laughs> give it to Paul. I will lose my God damn, in a good way, by the way, if you're listening, in an absolutely good way. Mm-hmm. All right, final predictions. I think I'm still sticking with Austin Butler. He's been my ride since the day I saw Elvis. And I think having the uh, um, the Golden Globe really helps. Uh, he also picked up, what was the other one? Uh, he's uh, gotten, a, he's gotten a couple. I think he got... yeah. I, don't I think know. I'm mixing it around. Cause I can't remember. Did he win? I don't know. He's got. I'm. I'm going with Austin Butler. Tyler, who is your final pick? Austin Butler. Seth. The biopic it just weighs too strong. I think Austin Butler. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Actor in a supporting role. Is there Do anything? Need to speak about it? Is there anything we need to talk about here? Uh, Kihui Kwan is like the lock of the century i think yeah. i don't think barry keoghan winning the bafta was crazy if i'm being honest 
Uh, I don't think that was the craziest thing in the world. Um, but Ki Hui Khan has won literally everything. Uh, Brendan Gleeson, and I'm sure Seth will agree with this, I'm surprised he's not like picking up a lot more steam coming into Oscar season. Um, I would probably edge him over Barry Keoghan slightly for Banshees of Inisharan, but yeah, I don't think, I don't think it matters. Ki Hui Kwan is winning this award. And that's it. Yeah. Anything, anything here that could possibly shock us? Do you guys think? Is there anything the Oscars can do here? What are the odds? So he's he's Ki-Hui minus Kwan. five thousand. So he's five thousand. Like, that's yeah. absurd. That's crazy. So that's fifty that to one have, odds. Yeah. Oh my god, that, that would be the odds I, that's, if, that's if I fought wild. Alex Coleman. <laughs> yeah, so that's, I, that's, I think I'm definitely going Kihue Kwan. Um, I guess like if you just wanted to like do a quick like who's like your number two, like who's the second? Because I I think we're all like picking Kihue Kwan. Let's like you guys surprise me, but I'm picking him and like I I want him to yeah. win. But my number two, I'd probably say. Yeah, I think I, I'd edge Brendan Cleason a little higher than Barry Kogan, like you Is guys that- said. Or based on how much you like their performance. Right. I'm not, like, I I don't even think it's possible to predict, like, who's second likeliest to win. Like, Barry yeah. Keoghan's second best odds, but, like, I mean, it's... The reason I was asking is we should probably say, say for the first one as well, for the leading actor, our favorite well, for the leader. Yeah, true. I, I, my yeah. favorite, I guess, was, for that would be also Austin Butler, honestly. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Paul, Paul Moscow. Still taking it was Paul just Moscow. such a human performance, man. I just love to see that. It won't happen. If... But. If if the Oscars does one thing that will truly put a smile on my face, it's giving supporting actor to Brian Tyree Henry. Okay. Yeah, get it, get it, like getting that. a nomination, getting a nomination was enough. I would literally in I was at work listening to this on my headphones and I lost my mind when they announced Brian Tyree Henry mm-hmm. for this nomination. Yeah, I was love positive. he's no one's winning except Ki Kwe Kwan. I think that's a lock, but Brian Tyree Henry, I would even edge over Brendan and Barry Keoghan. Yeah, I'd go. I'd go. Uh, Brendan Gleeson. I think is my second. But yeah. right. uh, the only thing that's weird is George George uh, Hirsch. Hirsch. Yeah, George yeah. Hirsch. Weird nomination. I mean, he was good, but it's just like whatever. <laughs> I still yeah. haven't seen the Fablemans. R.I.P. I, I got to watch this week before the awards. All right. So final predictions. I'm taking Keith Hui Kwan. Obviously, yeah, well, I think we all are. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. I, I think 99% of the globe is, except like relatives of the other nominees. Um, next, uh, next category, another, in my humble opinion, two woman race, and that is actress in a leading role. It's Kate Blanchett versus Michelle Yeoh. I think Kate Blanchett, Tyler, I'm sure you have it open in front of you. She has to be the odds favorite right now, right? You want to hear something oh. interesting? So Kate Blanchett is minus 120. So like a little bit of a favorite. Michelle, Michelle Yeoh, Yeoh, minus 120. Same exact oh. odds. Okay, that's interesting. Which is that's crazy because Kate Blanchett won every single precursor, and then like Michelle Yeoh, the last second one, like the yeah, last one, Saturday Awards, and then apparently that's just enough. Huge. I saw what? I saw a tweet that said, "Imagine if on Oscars night they read Michelle and then said Williams." <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> how mu- how much of a fuck that would be? But yeah, I- I'm still taking Kate Blanchett here. She's got the Globe. She's got the Critics' Choice. She's got the BAFTA. She only think, the only thing she doesn't have is the SAG. Um, so it was one award away, in my mind, from being a clean sweep. Um, Michelle Yeoh seemed to be, like, the person of the night at the SAG Awards. You know, every, everyone that was up there talked about her. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis obviously dedicated her award to Michelle Yeoh, and then she goes on to win actress. I don't think that's enough to get her this Oscar. I think the three precursors that Kate Blanchett has just absolutely trumps that. Um, Tyler, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so, it, yeah, I'd, I'd be fine with either of these two winning. I, I think at the end of the day, for me, I'm definitely leaning Michelle Yeoh strongly. A, I enjoyed her performance more. I thought it had to show a little more range. And B, Mich- like Kate Blanchett, she has an, uh, she has an awards cabinet that's overflowing with Oscars and awards. So, and and this like and it's people would be like, oh, like that doesn't matter. She'll always be the best performance. Film is subjective. You could never pick any of these five and say like this objectively is the better acting performance. So I feel like that's where you have to like influence with politics and say like Michelle Yeoh's getting older in her career. She had an, an important performance that I hold just as highly as Kate Blanchett. But at the end of the day, she has like no awards. Whereas Kate Blanchett's already gotten two Oscars. She's already gotten like thousands yeah. of other awards. So I'd like to see Michelle Yeoh for that reason. Kate Blanchett definitely deserves it. But any of the other three of the five, I'd be really, really, really disappointed if somehow those three won. I think it absolutely has to be Michelle Yeoh or Kate Blanchett. And it's not like actor where it's a two-man race but we'd be like happy if Paul Mescal or Colin Farrell won this one like yeah I would not be happy if anyone other than the top two won this one 
<laughs> yeah, I, I like that you mentioned how Kate Blanchett basically has a, a, a house of trophies already. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much like. I don't know how much that goes into the Oscars voting. Um, the Oscars do love Kate Blanchett. Um, I do agree with you that Michelle Yeoh. I think she's who I would pick personally of these five. Um, but again, BAFTA, Critics Choice, Golden Globe. Um, you know, Kate Blanchett's won every major precursor except for SAG. Um, she's obviously a really heavy Oscars favorite right now. I think she's the safe pick if I were to put my money somewhere. But I think Michelle Yeoh is who I would want to win this award. Um, Seth, I think I know who you're leaning towards. Mm, I think I'm the opposite of you, where I'd, I'd prefer, just in terms of what I prefer, I prefer Kate Blanchett to win. But actually, yeah. I'd be like 50 50. I don't care about either. It's similar to what both of you said. Either of them winning, I'm pretty happy with. But I, th- yeah. I don't know, man. Like, I've just got a feeling about Michelle Yeoh. I feel like everything everyone wants is going to get a bit of a sweep in terms of that regard, and they're going to get a pick up a few. And I feel like Michelle Yeoh could take it. And But I prefer Kate Blanchett's performance. But again, like Tyler said, Michelle Yeoh hasn't picked up any of these huge accolades. I think it would be really nice. I'd be happy with either. But I think Michelle Yeoh might take it. I don't know why. I haven't got anything to back that all. But she did win the... I also I so another reason I think Kate will win is because I think everything everywhere all at once is about to when we go through these nominations you'll see I think they are about to sweep the Oscars well that's like, that's kind of yeah, my thing, like think, six so. seven awards and I think yeah. they're gonna get away and it's not even getting away because Kate Blanchett is obviously incredibly deserving of it but I think when by the time we get to actress everything everywhere all at once will have picked up like five awards at that time yeah so it's like all right what else is tar really gonna win yeah except actress and that's yeah. a movie that the oscars is not going to want to walk away empty-handed just like the win. um all right final predictions i'm taking i think Kate blanchett's gonna win i would like to see michelle yo win tyler yeah i'm taking uh-huh. officially i'm taking michelle yo okay i'll say take... i'll yeah i'll take i'll take michelle yo to win i think yeah. Cam, quickly, who's Michelle winning Best Yo. Actor? No, no, Best Actor, Best Actor. Oh, Best Actor, uh, Paul Mescal. No, who you want actor, to win? He's, he's no, no, no. Win. I know, who I know, I know. Who going to win? Uh, Austin Butler. Okay, Supporting Actor. Uh, Kihei Kwan. Come on. Okay, here. and Leading Actress. Uh, Michelle Yeoh. All right, that's all you missed. That's all you did. Now, now yeah, Cam's yeah. caught up. Cam has can, returned. All right. Can I just say something Let's, real quick? Like, I was going to make this joke, but it ended up actually happening. The one award the MCU is is nominated for is Best Supporting Actress, and that's what we're about to go to. And Cam just happens to join right before the Black Panther. <laughs> that's all award. I care. I mean, that's what I'm leaving. Like, I was gonna make a joke like, "Oh, watch Cam join just for the award that the MCU," and he he does. He he jumps right in before we're gonna talk about that's, the MCU. I mean, I'm leaving well, after. So, all right, let's get right into it. Actress in a supporting role. This is the category I think is gonna be an absolute shit show. Um, it's this up all in the I air. To talk. I want to say this. Uh, Angela Bassett is this year's Sylvester Stallone in Creed, where Sylvester picked up Golden Globe and Critics' Choice and got shut out everywhere. And I do think that's a nice pattern to look at when considering who's going to win this award. I don't think Angela Bassett is winning this Oscar. I think Kerry Condon is winning this Oscar. Um, that's really? my that's my final prediction. I think it, I don't think it's Angela Bassett. I don't think Hong Chow has enough momentum coming into this it, show. George and I don't. Yeah. Angela Bassett did the thing, so she's going to win. <laughs> <She's gonna fuck laughs> um, and then Jamie Lee Curtis is. for Stephanie Sue. Obviously, Jamie Lee, like, big W. I'm picking up the SAG, but I think everyone kind of acknowledges that that's, like, that's just a career acknowledgement award in my mind. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. Tyler, who who is winning this shit show of a category? Yes, and this is the last last. It's not a one. shit show. It's a good category. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not meaning shit show like it's a bunch of bad it's nominees. Open, I mean, so yeah, I mean it's open. open. Like, like there's no clear yeah. winner here the way there is for supporting actor. I just want to say, like, since this is the last acting one we're doing of the quartet, like, shout out to us for before any nominees of anything were announced, we picked our best actor, actress, and supporting and supporting actress, and we got, like, we did very well for yeah. what? Yeah. We did Butler, yeah. we did... Yo, we did Kihei Kwan and Kerry Condon. That like very much could yeah. be like and there was no oh, yeah, there, there wasn't even the nominees released then. So shout out to us. We know yeah. we know ball. Um we so DraftKings odds. 
The favorite is Jamie Lee Curtis right now, and then Angela wow. Bassett, and then Carrie I, Condon. But they're all really? like neck and neck in the favorites. Like George is saying, is a while. Plus one twenty five, Jamie Lee. Plus one fifty, uh, Angela Bassett. Plus oh, so two twenty five, Carrie Condon. There's no real favorite then. Right. Exactly. Wow, that like all the other ones, it was like two person race is a three just, person just, race. Just for fun, I'm sure I missed this conversation. Sorry to derail. I said I would. Um, what was Kihei Kwan's odds? Minus five thousand. Minus five thousand. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was just. I figured. I was just wondering. Yeah. So that's I, crazy. My pick here is. Uh, I actually like submitted. So I'm like doing like an Oscars pick. And I already submitted my pick. So I'm not even gonna look at those. I'm just gonna go off the top of my head right now. I'm gonna say Carrie Condon is who I'm picking as well. I just think Angela Bassett like lost all that momentum, and Jamie Lee. I just I think mentally I don't really want to believe that she has a chance to win the Oscar. I I don't know. She I, like I was gonna say nothing against her, but she actually does kind of seem like a dickhead in a lot of interviews I've seen. Like she doesn't seem like the greatest. I, I don't person. really like her. Yeah. So because <laughs> yeah. like no, like I was just naturally be like oh nothing against her, but actually like kind of like a lot against her. Um, so I'd be really upset if yeah. she wins. So I'm gonna go Carrie Condon. It's also um, crazy, that, and in my humble opinion. Jamie Lee Curtis isn't even the best supporting actress in her in own that movie. movie. I don't and get I, it, man. And I, don't I, I don't. It. And here's even maybe more controversial. I don't even think it's close. Like I think Stephanie Sue is so far ahead of I Jamie know. Lee Curtis in terms of their performances and everything. Everywhere. The fact that Stephanie Sue isn't ripping through these award shows, picking every award up, kind of blows my mind. She's obviously who I would want to win this award, um, but I do think uh, Kerry Condon's name will be called that night. <laughs> Okay, I think the Oscars sure are going to right the wrongs of every other uh, every other award show and give it to Stephanie Sue. Okay, that's, that's my I think prediction. She, I feel like they're only hating on her because she's too young. I think. Uh... I think. I think that's. I think that is a big reason. She's not young. I know. Though. I know. Sag she's, is like a big. She's like, in her thirties, isn't she? No, but it's her first. Right. Big Same with like Austin Butler. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who's in uh, Off the Boat? Right. Um, I don't know what that is. No it's a, it was like an ABC comedy with like uh, mm. who's uh, Henry Wu from um, oh, yeah, Ant-Man. Yeah. Ant-Man. Yeah. Or is this, that his real this, name? This yeah. lineup won't ever happen, but imagine if we had this like young line of winners, Austin Butler, Barry Keoghan, Ana de Armas, and then Stephanie Sue. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty sick. Mm-hmm. I don't want Ana de Armas winning though. Yeah, neither do I. Oh, Randall right. Park. I don't think she's going to. All right, final final supporting actress prediction. I'll go. I want Stephanie Sue. I'm going with Carrie Condon. I'm sticking to my gut. I think Carrie Condon is winning this award. Seth, I'll go. Um, I would want Carrie Condon to win. Obviously, originally I would said Angela Bassett, and there's only one reason for that, George. Because she did the thing. She did the thing. So uh, <laughs> yeah. thing. I'm so confused. What thing did she do? Angela uh, Bassett did the thing. And she just did the thing, Ken. If you don't know, she you don't know. Th- if you don't know, you the thing. You know, she's presents. She's one of the presenters of the Oscars, isn't she? I imagine do, she I presents. Saw that. Imagine she presents it. supporting actress and gives it to Angela Bassett. <laughs> and she opens the card. She goes, "Oh my God, Angela did. Bassett did the thing." <laughs> That'd be amazing. That's why I wanted to win. Uh, right. I, I would have said Angela Bassett, but not honestly. As much as like, I, I. I think Jamie Lee Curtis might win. <laughs> I, I really think so. Really I, think so. I'm, I'm going to go with it. It's also like, I would not be surprised if any of these five win. Like, I, I would be surprised yeah. if Hong Chao won. I'd be shocked if Hong Chao won. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I she think... was, no, she was really good, but I just don't see her. Do you know what, though? Actually thinking about it, I Stephanie Hsu and Hong Chao, Neither of them have got really, uh, as according to what I know, many accolades in, in terms of. Has, has no. Stephanie Sue got anything? No, she hasn't actually. No, no. It's, so, been, so, Angela, it's been Angela Bassett and Kerry Condon picking up and then pretty Jamie much Lee everything. Curtis. And then Jamie Lee Curtis right, slid yeah. in and took the stack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say Jamie um, Lee Curtis. I'm going to say Jamie Lee Curtis. All right. Tyler, who's winning this award? I'm saying Kerry Condon. I think that's going to be the only band she's been a share and win of the night. So this is going to be kind of yeah. how they give a, give a W to that film. It deserves a All W. Right. Cam, I will say you, just a, yeah. You, my my prediction is is Stephanie Sue still. I will not uh I will not uh, you will not pander pander on that. But <laughs> and just to stick with this real quick because this is the care this is the category I care about the most just because I love Stephanie Sue and she's getting disrespected in this. Whatever doesn't matter. Um, d- d- Jamie Lee is like. <laughs> 
leaps and bounds less than everyone else on this list, in my opinion. I think I think she was I I think she was low. I think I think she was good. She was just good. She was good. Uh, good. I just I don't I don't that one for me I really don't understand. But good for her for winning. Um, Yeah, she said she's definitely said some questionable things in her life. uh, So I'm not sure we want her to win, but I, I think she's a fine person. I'm sure, but whatever again i don't there hasn't been one category we haven't gone through where i would like genuinely be upset if someone won obviously if like out of the armis or andrea riseborough won i wouldn't be happy but whoa 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 on a day armis okay no bro (laughs) no bad movie bad movie good performance (laughs) all right let's move on to another category that i think is Easy. A lock, and that yeah. is animated feature. Uh, yeah. I'll go through the categories since everyone probably doesn't know this off the top of their heads. Who's listening? It's Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Marcel the Shell with shoes on, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, The Sea Beast, and Turning Red. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio Wins. has literally everything. Everything. It has not lost one award this season. Uh, it, it's the clear favorite. Can you guys see anything else winning? Puss in Boots should win, by the way. Let me yes, just... it, yes, it yes. should. Yes, it should. Puss in yeah, Boots is the just... best animated of last year. Yeah, Puss in Boots is easily the best animated film of last year. Seth. And I love Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Seth, do um, you agree with that? Well. Puss in Boots being the best animated? Yeah, I have Puss, Pinocchio at 4, Puss in Boots at 4.5. It's my favorite, definitely. I, mean, I, have Puss, I have Puss in Boots in my top 10 of last year, which means I, I Puss, think it I, should I, be nominated I, for best I have it picture. In my top 10. I loved it. I have it in my top 10. Hey, man. Yeah. We, know, we know ball. Puss in Boots should win. <laughs> Pinocchio's going. Even though we didn't award it at the Real Talk Awards. Yeah, but anyways, I think... I, I, hadn't I, I had not I hadn't seen it. Yet. Yet. I was the only one who saw it at that point. No, I, yeah. I, saw it, I saw it after nominations, but before the awards. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think the only other thing I could see here is Marcel the Shell, because that's just like such an Oscar Oscar awards type movie. Even though like I personally didn't love it, I, I thought is it, was it fine. is it animated though? Is it like actually? Animated? Oh yeah, that would also piss me off too if it won animated yeah, feature. I, I haven't seen yeah. it. I just like from what I've seen. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, it, Pinocchio is going to win, isn't it? Has to. Yeah, A twenty four is about to catch a ton of awards between the whale and I think the whale and everything everywhere all at once. So I don't think they're giving it Marshall with shoes on. I think Guillermo del Toro's Jesus Christ, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is the clear favorite here. But yeah, Puss in Boots: The Last Peak should easily win this award. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah. All right, we're not going to spend too much time there. Uh, are, are we? Uh, we're all confident Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is winning this award, right? Yeah, yeah I think 100%. we all want that to. I think we all think that'll win, and we all want Puss in Boots to win. Or that's yeah. like our favorite. Yeah, turning red. I, I, that would be my favorite upset in Oscars history. And yeah. given that, I only know about this year and maybe last. Not year, Stephanie Shue. <laughs> Stephanie Shue shouldn't be, shouldn't be an upset, but it will be. <laughs> Jesus. Every every award category we go through is going to come back to Stephanie Sue. All right. Probably. I love her. Another uh, another one that I, I won't call a lock, but I think it's pretty, you know, set in my mind. And that's uh, the award for best cinematography. We have All oh, Quiet on the Western Front, Bardo, Elvis, Empire of Light, and Tar. The only reason I don't think it would go to All Quiet on the Western Front is because there's a certain man by the name of Roger Deakins that is sitting in this awards category. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Empire of Light has not been received very well, and I think that is going to hold it back from picking up an award. So my pick is easily All Quiet on the Western Front here. Cam, who's winning all, cinematography? All Quiet on the Western Front's winning. Uh, Banshee should have been nominated at the yeah. You there see. were several snubs. I, here. I think Banshee the number is... one should have got nominated. Like, the, I, my best of the year that you get nominated. Seems to leave. What was your best of the year? Decision oh, to... decision to leave. Yeah, yeah. Well, Banshee's was your best of the year. Not cinematography. Oh, cinematography. oh you're just talking. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah, I yeah. also thought you were talking in general. Yeah, decision cool. to leave should have been here. I think. I think yeah. Top Gun Maverick should have been here. Yeah. If I'm being honest, with you. Yeah. I think the I'd have the Batman here over Elvis. Yeah, yeah. God, these yes. people are idiots, man. Yeah, who's, these people are. I this, hate this award this category. Is. The Batman should have been here. This, this you could have easily made this award uh, category ten nominations deep, and I don't think anyone would have complained. Tyler, uh, who who do you think is taking home the award of this bunch? Yeah, so the betting favorite is all quiet on the Western Front, minus seven hundred. That's what I'm I'm gonna be picking. Wow. Um, the second then then it's kinda of like a two man pony race for second place between Elvis and Empire of Light. Um I've seen all these. I, I think I'm the only one who's seen Bardo. I didn't love I Bardo, but the only thing I loved about it is the cinematography. So like cool, like I'm fine with it getting a nomination. I, I really thought like the cinematography was great in that, even though I didn't really enjoy anything else. Um but yeah, all quiet's what I want to win of these five. 
I think it's a very interesting category this year. It just kind of feels like they just took like there's like what like 20 or so different films nominated for all these awards. I feel like they just kind of threw them all in a bag and they just picked five out and they're like, all right, here's the five for cinematography. Yeah, it's a weird one. It's a very weird like Elvis like. Make, Elvis like being like here. editing, oh, I can totally not, see like editing man. for Elvis because there's some like editing, cool like quick cuts, but like the cinematography, yeah, weird. But yeah, 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 yeah weird, weird group, but all quiet no. is what I'm taking. Yeah, like I could understand. Bardo's the only one I haven't seen here, um, so I could understand the nominations for like Tar and Empire and All Quiet on the Western Front. Um, but Elvis, like I truly just, it's I not don't cinematography. Get it. it's, it's production. It's like, got some cool shots. Don't get me wrong. Compared, like, I mean, compared, yeah, I mean, compared, yeah, yeah, you're comparing it to like even like an everything everywhere all at once. I would have taken over Elvis, I think, which obviously is never being praised for its cinematography. Yeah. Um, all right. So it looks like All Quiet on the Western Front. Again, I'm not going to say it's a lock, but I think it's the clear favorite, especially after the sweep they just had um, at the um, BAFTA Awards. Moving on to costume design, I actually think this is one of the more interesting uh, categories. We got Babylon, Wakanda Forever, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Miss Harris Goes to Paris. Um, Tyler, where are we going here? Uh, I'm first, I'm just going to say fuck Miss Harris Goes to Paris because I'm a completionist yeah. and I have to watch every Oscar nominated film. I only have a couple left, and the, this is I have to watch freaking Miss Harris Goes to Paris to look at the freaking costume. Same thing as last year with freaking Cyrano. Had to watch that with the costume design. But um, for me, yeah, again, this this group's interesting. I would love to see Babylon win. Like that's what I would love to see win. But I'm gonna go with Elvis. Like, and I think like, I think it would be like a fair win. Uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I think the costumes were like the worst part of it, so I wouldn't really love to see them win. I thought the suits were pretty meh. Yeah. Um, but in terms of betting, um, Elvis is the cl- is the favorite, and then Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is like right behind it. It's minus 140 to Elvis, plus 150 to Wakanda Forever. Then there's kind of a drop down to Everything yeah. Everywhere All at Once. And then Babylon and Miss Harris go to Paris are like long shots, which is weird to me because I thought Babylon would be a little higher, but I'll go Elvis is what I, my pick is, and I would want to see Babylon win. Yeah, I'm right there with you in terms of I, – I actually, no, I'm not. Sorry, I lied. I want Elvis to win, and I think that should win. Uh, I don't think Black Panther Wakanda Forever goes home without an award tonight, and I think costume design is the easiest one to give it. Um, so I am taking Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Um, Elvis would be a close two, and then obviously Babylon is right there with Elvis. I wouldn't mind any of those winning. I wouldn't even mind seeing everything everywhere all at once win. I know it's not being praised uh, for its costume design, but you know, pick up as many awards as possible. Cam, who is taking home this award? I think Elvis is taking it home. Uh, I think that's kind of a lock, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, but I, I really don't think – I don't understand – I've also watched everything everywhere all at once, probably more than most people and more recently, but I don't understand how it's not like at least in conversation for this thing. It, the costume design in that is incredible. I, but I think Elvis will win. And yeah, like some of the suits in black Panther Wakanda forever. And I, that's like my 10th best movie of last year. I loved it. Uh, some of the suits in that thing were not good. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think it should win. I just think yeah. it will win. Seth, yeah. Seth, um, Seth, Seth is not Nazi banshees here. I don't know. Did, did I say? Oh, by the way, I agree with you on all quite in the Western Front. I don't think I said that on the last one. Oh, um, sweet, my bad. I out of these, I'd probably give it to Elvis, and I think it deserves it, and I do think it will win. I'll go Elvis. I think that's, yeah, I think it's going to win. I'll go Elvis for this one. All right, so a bit all over the place on this one. I think. Well, sorry, Tyler. What was the betting favorite here? Is Elvis. it Elvis? Yeah, it is Elvis. It's not egregious. Oh, yeah. Right behind it is Black yeah. Panther Con Forever. Yeah, again, I don't think any of these wins, I guess, except Miss Harris goes to Paris, would be, you know, it, it, none of these winning is going to make my jaw drop. You haven't uh, seen Mrs. Harris. You don't know how good the you're right. Is. You're right. You're, that's totally fair. <laughs> All right. Um, directing. We're just going down the line, so it may seem like weird that we're, you know, doing some smaller awards, coming and followed up by massive awards. Yeah. Uh, we got Martin McDonough for Banshees. We got uh, the Daniels for everything. We got Steven Spielberg for the Fablemans. Todd Field for Tar and Ruben Osland for Triangle of Sadness. I, and I'm going to say this before we even get to the predictions, I hate this lineup. Like, I hate this lineup more than you guys could even imagine. Um, only, I think, two of these would be in my five, maybe even just one. Really? But I hate this. I hate Hate. There's only one that wouldn't be in mine, I think. I absolutely despise. Who do you, who do you really want it? Like, obviously Charlotte Wells, but who else is in your mind of who you Charlotte wish Wells, nominated? 
I wish Park Chan Wook was nominated. Oh, yeah. I, I, okay. I truly don't know how that man was not nominated. It was just I would film. take Matt. It, yeah, yeah, you're right. I would take Matt Reeves over most of these. Um, I would take um, what's his fucking name? Oh my god, the guy that directed On the Count of Three, Gerard uh, Carmichael. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there are there are a couple of people I would take over. Did you I ever watch The Fablemans? I have not seen The Fablemans yet. Okay. No, so, That's just me, but, so I don't think Steve, that. Spielberg's fantastic, but I I, I think. He gets the he gets the nomination for the name. Yeah, he gets the win yeah. for the name. In my I mean, opinion, I, I'm worried. Oh, you that. think he's winning, Seth? I, I think he. I think Spielberg's going to win. I would pick. Ooh. I actually, I'm a bit different. I like the lineups of this. The only one I would change. Park Chan Wook deserves to be in there somewhere. I'd probably change Spielberg for if I, Charlotte Wells. I like I like Ruben Austin because I obviously I know he wasn't everyone's favorite, but I really like Triangle Sadness. Um. But I'd want to sneak part of working there as well. But I think I would choose Martin McDonough, obviously. But I think Spielberg's going to win, personally. I, I just have a so feeling. You, so you think Spielberg, but like your personal favorite would be McDonough, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'd probably say so. Uh, Mark, I, McDonough or, or Todd Field, actually, my favorite. Todd Field, I wouldn't mind. You like this Better category then, Seth? Because you also like really like Ruben Austin. Yeah, I really like Triangle Sadness. I really like that film. Yeah. I still think the Daniels are picking up this award. Yeah, um, that, I think that, that, win. that Yeah, that hasn't yeah, really yeah. changed. Um, I, and they're also who I want to win, so I would love to see them pick it up. I think the only other one that could win this award is Steven Spielberg. But just looking at this lineup, I think the Daniels are very clear of everyone in terms of the awards they've picked up and the momentum going into that night. What are the best notes for this, Tyler? The betting odds for this, Dan- the Daniels are the favorite at minus 1,400, followed by Steven oh, Spielberg at plus 600. I'd take, I take that back. Wow. wow. That's crazy. Are yeah. they really that heavy? Have they favorite? won a yeah, lot? Yeah, I don't think that. anyone's won a directing award other than them since the Golden Globes when, fa- when yeah. Steven Spielberg took Oh, on. so have they won everything recently? They've won exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm, I don't follow enough, to be honest. Maybe, yeah, maybe the Daniels yeah. then. Makes sense. I think of this of this group, they should win. But the the correct answer, and we all agree on this, is Charlotte Wells. That's the, that's the correct answer. But I, they, of I this agree. group, they will win. Actually, I, mean, I would agree because it was her debut. I think that counts towards something. I, think that has to count I towards agree. Something. These idiots. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right, Are we doing uh, documentary? Who, yeah, I was gonna say we're. If you're listening, sorry, we we don't really watch a whole lot of documentary feature films, and we at I least I anything. most certainly have not seen any of these. Um, Let's all just throw out a name, been, just so like to, I'm to, giving to it tally. to Fire. I'm giving it to Fire of Love. Yeah. They're making I'm a live it. action, like a, a film of Fire of Love. I, I'm oh, giving it to. Perfect. I'm pretty sure Navalny just won the BAFTA, so I'm going with Navalny. I'll go with House Made of Splinters. He's got a cool name. <sighs> perfect. We all got different. I'm going all the beauty and the bloodshed. Perfect. <laughs> Let's Sweet. go. Great if, documentary. If, he loved if, it. Yeah. If no, if Navalny <laughs> wins, I will be flexing on you guys for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the same with documentary short. Uh, I'm going. I'm going how do you measure a year? That's my pick. I've never I'm, seen it. I'm going Stranger at the Gate because it kind of that's the cool name. Stranger at the Gate. I'll go with the yeah. Elephant Whispers because it implies that the Elephant. The elephant yeah, that it, it, it does do that. It does. <laughs> Tyler, uh, I'm gonna go. How do you measure a year? Oh man, yeah, that's oh, interesting. Oh, oh, no, Shaw, Martha Mitchell, though. Snoke. <laughs> and there's no betting uh, favorites for the along. short, so these are just blind darts we're throwing. Perfect. <laughs> these are blind. Um, I'm right, though. Okay, moving on. We got film editing The Banshees, Avina Sharon, Elvis, Everything Every All at Once, Tar, and Top Gun Maverick. Um, me personally, uh, Elvis is nominated, what, eight or nine times? Uh, if they don't win Best Actor, I still don't see them going home without an award. And uh, I know a lot of people have been saying that film editing would be their next best shot right there with like costume design. Um, so I think Elvis is my pick for film editing. I would weirdly, and I know it's weird to say it in a category with Everything Everywhere and the Banshees, but I wouldn't mind seeing Top Gun win this award at oh, all. Yeah, I would like uh, yeah, th- this is one of those awards where I just I don't care enough about this award to like be upset who wins and just give it a Top Gun. Top Gun had a stellar year, box office numbers off the charts, and you know it's being hailed as the savior of cinema. Just give it one award, and I think mm-hmm. film editing would be a fantastic spot to do it. But I do still think Elvis is going to pick up this award. Seth, who's winning film editing? 
Uh, if I was to choose, I'd probably go between Elvis, everything everyone wants, and Tar. Uh, but then I can see any of these winning. I would probably say Just give yourself probably... a sixty percent chance. No, that was what that was who I'd want to win the most. <laughs> that wasn't who I'd predict predict to win. Oh, well. Prediction wise, I would go with I'd probably go with Elvis as well. Yeah, I'd probably go with Elvis. I think they'll win. That's an easy pick. Uh, Tyler. Yeah, for me, so like uh, for a lot of these, I feel like everything, everywhere, all at once is picked because you know they've been winning all the precursors and like obviously it's a great film too. But for film editing, it's truly the one that I actually really like it. It's one of my favorite categories for like that's one of my biggest standouts of the movie. Uh, For Elvis, like I said, when we were talking about cinematography, I I could totally see the film editing and why it's nominated and why it would be like a favorite to win, but. Like, the cinematography doesn't make sense to me. Whereas, like, the film editing, I really thought for Elvis, I was like, yeah, this is, like, some great stuff. Like, I can see it being an Oscar nominated. Mm -hmm. Top Gun Maverick, agree with everything you said. But for me, we want everything everywhere all at once just because, like, genuinely, like, that's, like, probably one of my favorite categories of all for everything everywhere all at once. Yeah, I probably agree, actually. Yeah, I get that. Cam, I assume you're the same boat. Yeah, it's everything everywhere all at once, or I'd love, I I just, I'd like to see Top Gun Maverick win something. Um, I really think it should have gotten a couple other nominations outside of film editing and then whatever else it had. But I'd like to see it win something, and and maybe it picks one up here. But I I, I would like everything everywhere all at once win everything, so can't go against that, you know. Including supporting actress? Yes, I would love Stephanie Sue to win. Have you guys heard about her? No, No, never. It's because she doesn't right. have hot dog fingers. That's why she doesn't win. <laughs> All right, moving on to international feature film. I don't know how this category like isn't a lock. All Quiet on the Western Front is the only film here that was nominated for Best Picture. Best Picture, yeah. It like, and I'm not dumb to think that that would be idiotic if it didn't win it, this award. It wouldn't right? make sense if it didn't because you nominate it within yeah. the rest of the category. It wouldn't make sense. Yeah, you it have to. to. Um, yeah. We won't harp too much on that. I, I I assume all five of all four of us are in the same boat. There is yeah, anyone, I think that's anything other than all quiet. The only one I haven't seen is Argentina 1985, which, funny enough, is like the only other one that's picked up an award for international yeah. feature. But I've seen all the other ones. I know Cesar and the Quiet Girl. EO, like I thought, was a fine movie. I don't really see it winning. Uh, Close, I loved, but it's by far the lowest odds apparently. So fuck what's me, the- I guess. What's the odds for All Quiet? It's got to be like a minus minus twenty five hundred. So yeah, it's, it's a big wow. Thing. And that's yes. my pick. I think I think what you guys said it'd be it, so dumb if it didn't win. Like if you're gonna nominate for Best Picture, yeah, like how is it not yeah. gonna win this category? You have yeah, exactly. And then obviously the omission of Decision to Leave is Could be painful, but whatever. We won't harp on that shit too long. Hair and makeup. All Quiet on the Western Front. The Batman. Black Panther. Wakanda Forever. Elvis and the Whale. Um, Elvis. I Elvis. I yeah. Are we like? I don't know. I feel like I, All Quiet on the Western Front can sneak in here. Maybe actually. I maybe really like, do. Yeah, maybe. Um, I didn't realize Black Panther: Wakanda the, Forever was also nominated for this. Did the Batman get nominated for this just for Colin Farrell? Uh, probably. You got to right? yeah. yeah, for the I eyeshadow mean, too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah for the eyeshadow and then Colin Farrell. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. you have to imagine that's right. El- Elvis or All Quiet. And because, and uh, uh, shoot, Zoe Kravitz wore three different wigs. So that's, that's uh, <laughs> yeah. Perfect hairstyling. Um, yeah, this this is another Imagine category. if the whale wins. Jesus God, if Bro, the whale wins. I'm that telling wins. you, I, I'm so on the side that the whale was snubbed in too many categories not to pick up the awards it was nominated for, which is why I can see it winning hair and makeup oh, and no. actor. Oh, I, I hate that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, listen, I don't think it's going to win. I'm just saying, don't be surprised if it does win hair and makeup. My pick yeah. is still all quiet. I say still, even though it changed. But my pick is all quiet on the Western Front. Um, that It just won, obviously, a BAFTA. For, for hair and makeup. It's won a couple other awards here. I think Black Panther is a sneaky second. I think you guys are overlooking that, even did though Elvis win, is category. Did Black Panther win this in 2018? Uh, Whenever it was. Did they win this? I don't know. I don't know if it won hair and makeup. It definitely won costume They won something. Design. Oh, costume. It, it costume won design. costume design, but I'm not sure about yeah, hair and costumes makeup. costumes in that one were sick. Yeah, yeah they, they were. were. You're yeah. absolutely correct. I think Elvis um, wins this. IMO. Yeah, I'll go Elvis. I'll go Elvis. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Elvis, even though like of so the Batman, Elvis, and the Whale all featured like fat suits because uh, like call, like you know Colin Farrell was in a fat suit for the Batman. Um, I think Elvis was the was the worst. 
Like I thought, I thought Tom Hanks is looked like, kind of awful, but like the rest of the movie, has I some forgot great about him in that movie. I'm not gonna lie, I when I'm thinking of, Con- I wasn't even thinking about Tom Hanks. I he, forgot he, about him. Yeah. 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 So like for me, like I kind of hate that. Like I wanted to win, even though I think that's like the worst <laughs> piece of makeup and hairstyling. I'm going all quiet in the rest of the front. I'm changing. It. Yeah, <laughs> I want, I, I want to change it to the Batman. That's what I'm going with. I just want to see the that, Batman. Movie. That's wishful thinking. I'm I still hate going Elvis, all quiet on the rest of front. I forgot about that. Oh, um, oh my god! All right, let's move on before Cam has an aneurysm. <laughs> um, uh, another another category that God, do I hate the nominees, or I hate some of the nominees, but uh, that's original score. We have All Quiet, Babylon, Banshees, Everything Everywhere, and The Fablemans. Um, Got a good tweet. We're not even going to talk about the fact that the Batman and Decision to Leave are not here. That is yeah. absolutely egregious. Um, I'm really happy All Quiet and Babylon are here. Those were my top two, uh, or my two and three, Batman being my one of the year. Um, is anyone – I don't even know how to word this question because I, I used to think Justin Hurwitz was a lock. and then uh, I, was, I thought he would be. I was going to say I think he is. I, I, he think is. He, I think he will win the award, but I absolutely would not be surprised if um, Volker Bertelman for All Quiet takes home this award. Yeah, I, I just I didn't think of that because I know some people didn't like the All Quiet because it was quite full on. I guess I really liked it, but uh, I always oh, thought. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> since Babylon so came out, I'll say I I I've always thought Babylon's going to win because I think this is if it's going to win something. I don't know what else it's nominated for. I can't remember, but if it's going to it, yeah. just in her, it's a score. Yeah. It was it, probably the best of the year. Uh, top top three, top five for me, and I think out of this, it'll probably win. I'll probably say that. Yeah. 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 Also, just in terms of my favorite, I, I hold, and I think I said this like when when we did the Real Talk Awards, but replay value for me is huge when it comes to movie scores. And outside of the Batman, Babylon is the one I find myself going to more than anything else. All Quiet is definitely there. It's definitely a score I put on at the gym. Um, but Babylon and the Batman have been my two most replayed scores all year. But again, I'm not counting out All Quiet. I will not be surprised at all if All Quiet wins this award. Do, do you always listen to scores at the gym? No, I like, no. I, I just go find back it so forth. like, like I'm all over <laughs> the place. It's it's movie scores. It's uh, it's rock and it's like hip hop rap. I'm all over the place. I'll, I'll go from listening to like a Jay Z song to to listening to House of the Dragons and then House I'll go the straight Dragons. and then I'll go straight into the Killers. There's no there's no rhyme or reason on what I listen to. At the yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, Cam, who are you picking? If it's not Babylon, I'll be <laughs> like really just upset. That I, noise I, that came out of your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> <it's not. laughs> I don't know, man. The Fable. I like like I said. I want everything, everywhere, all at once to win everything, but like. The Fablemans, that, Banshees, All Quiet was a good score, I won't lie. Uh, but ev- none of them, like, have that punch that I feel like Babylon's packs. Um, Out of Batman's over Babylon's, just I, saying. I don't hate that take. Yeah. I don't understand it not being nominated, but it's fine. Shout out John Williams, greatest composer of all time. Got another Second. nomination. Second. Second. Did you like the Fableman's score that much? I didn't think it was. I uh, I like I I can't say I noticed it too much while watching. Uh, I'll be honest. Yeah, that's kind of how I deter. I'm not a big score guy. I say this all the time. I determine if I but care about how score much you remember, it. how much I remember it after the fact, and I can't say I remember the Fableman's too much. Did you not remember Banshee's score? I loved Banshee. No, I, I liked Banshees and I, I liked All Quiet. I I remember them vaguely. Um, yeah. So I'd give that an I like, and then everything everywhere all at once. I don't really look at it for the score if i'm being honest too much going on yeah tyler who's your yeah. final pick here? babylon babylon yeah yeah babylon I, I again i hate saying something's a clear favorite but i think justin hurwitz is going to pick up his second award here uh, but again i will not be shocked if all quiet takes it home all right original song um not to not to it'd be great wouldn't it they have yeah, to win I, something I, I, I don't remember think... "Hold My Hand." Kind of it's a good song, but I hate I hate these nominees because it's just like it's the same that the Oscars falls into with like like I like Steven Spielberg and I think he deserved the nomination for director, but it's like everyone's always like Obi Wan get name brand value, and it's like Rihanna, Lady Gaga. Like I, like I feel like. Did and you like lift me up? I, I really I like don't. Like I think that's the one Rihanna I song like I skip every time. Like it's just like yeah, I didn't like it. It works I for the movie, but as a song. 
Hold my hands good. Yeah. Like not not too naughty. Know. It has to like. This yeah. Is yeah I, I, I would love I, that. I love that. I think it's great. Yeah. I, I am love that. confident not too not too is, is winning this. I think RR has had. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be the favorite. I think RR has too much of have ha, has had too much of like a cultural impact this year to not give it one award. And yeah. I think they're gonna perform this at the Oscars. Then they're gonna sit down nicely, Ooh. and then they're gonna come right back up and pick up their award. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be amazing. Um, all right, so the next in line for um, in alphabetical order is Best Picture. We're gonna skip this and yeah. save it for last. Uh, so the next one is Production Design. We have All Quiet, Avatar, Babylon, Elvis, and The Fablemans. Um, Babylon and Elvis, I think, are clear here, in my humble opinion. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I would love to see Babylon win this, man. Uh, will it? I don't know. But I would love to see it win. Yeah. I, I, and I say clear, even though I actually do think All Quiet is, like, not I, far I'd behind. want All Quiet to win, I think. I think All Quiet has the best one here, in my opinion. I, I, would, I would, yeah, I would take Babylon, personally, I think. I, I think, I think... I think um, I think Babylon might win. I think Babylon might win. I think it makes sense. It's... I gotta assume Babylon wins something, right? Or do they just go I home think... empty? I don't know. Well, do, do you think it makes a difference if Babylon won the score? They were like, they've won one now. Let's just give this one to Elvis as well because it's like Elvis no, because could... because when people are filling out their ballots, they don't really. Oh yeah, true. Like yeah, that, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I I think Babylon is. They probably think who paid them the most to vote for them. <laughs> who, who, who are their friends? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I'm actually kind one. of surprised to even see Avatar The Way of Water here. Obviously, it's... Yeah, I don't know that what works. goes into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but I, don't I don't know if it, it like, works in production design. Yeah, whenever we get to visual effects, that's when yeah. it should be. Why, you know, why or, is that on here? Like, I, don't, I, don't know. I, I don't know. I want Babylon yeah. and I think Babylon, so... Easy enough. Yeah, I, I'm right there. I, I want Babylon, and I think Babylon, but I think Elvis and All Quiet are, yeah. are kind of right there with it. Um, animated short film. Just Let's pick go. one. I know we didn't watch any of this. I'm the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Oh, my, not the flying sailor, yeah. man. Are you serious? Oh. I'm going with my year of dicks, without a doubt. That's my okay. W. Okay. Because I because I, I want them to say dicks. I saw that on, oh, no. on, I saw that on an unrated site once. <laughs> That's bad. That's I'm a bad for, uh, An ostrich told me the world is fake, and I think I believe it. That's a great ah, title. Man, I was going to. That's a great that. title. I'll, okay, I'll, I have go two with, choices. I'll go. I'll go with the four horsemen, also known as the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. I already so. picked that. I already <laughs> picked it. that first. Ah, fine. You know, to take, the flying I'll sailor. Take ice, I'll take ice merchants. Fuck. <laughs> That's such a bad pick, man. I already know it. All right, let's do the same for. Sure. Did do we watch any of these short films no. live action? <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the, yeah, I'm gonna take the red suitcase. That seems ominous. Cyrus. Nishad. I'm taking before someone takes it. I'm taking Le Pupin. Damn it, Cam. <laughs> yes. Fine, Ivalu. Uh, uh, the Ivalu, only reason Ivalu. for that is I know who Alfonso Cuarón is. So oh, yeah. everyone else, oh, yeah. everyone else, I don't know what they. I didn't even see his name. <laughs> yeah. Le Pupin. All, right. uh, all right, let's move on. That was funny. Let's <laughs> move on to to sound. Um, I think this is the award Top Gun Maverick takes home. Uh, I hope. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think it's one of those where it's <laughs> like, it's like a zero dark 30 where, you know, they have these microphones in like these shot, in the, like these uh, AR barrels. So like when a gun goes off, it's in your fucking face. Mm. And I think the same goes with Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> Every time a jet takes off, you get punched in the throat. Um, and I don't think any other... Uh, film on this category except All Quiet really excels in the sound department as much as you know a yep. nominee should um, Tyler where are you going here yeah I'm going Top Gun Maverick I think I'd be happy to see All Quiet on the Western Front win and that might be my favorite of the of these five but um, I think All Quiet on the Western Front is going to pick up quite a few other awards whereas I don't think that's going to be the case for Top Gun Maverick so I'll go Top Gun Maverick here yeah I, I, as much as I hate that logic, I hate that it still runs true where it's like, they're going to pick, like, they can't go home empty handed. So where can we just throw them in? But I don't think this would be a, just throw away award to talk from Maverick. I think this would be an absolutely deserving award. So I, you know, we keep saying like, something's got to pick it up, but I also feel like every year there's one movie that just gets shut out of everything. And I unfortunately think this year it might be Top Gun Maverick. 
or or it's the Batman. It's one of those. But Top Gun Maverick's nominated for more. Um, I'm going to go with the Batman here just based on that insanely not true logic. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Fun, little, fun little guessing game. <laughs> um, I'll go for... I'd won All Quiet to Win. I think that's my favorite on here. But I think I think I think if Top Gun Maverick is going to win anything, it's, it's, it's sound. Yeah, so I'll go Top Gun Maverick as my prediction. Yeah. Very very cool sound in that movie. The, yeah, the, no doubt. A fighter jet flying. No like, doubt. Although I do prefer All Quiet Sound. I think that was great. I think it was really really yeah. well sound. Yeah. Tyler, did you say your prediction for this one yet? Yeah, I yeah. think he's better. Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun. All right, we're getting on to the right. Uh, oh no, visual effects. Visual effects. Uh, Avatar. That's it's it. it's uh, I'm for... all quiet. That's, that's it's Avatar. Yeah, it's, yeah. Avatar. it's Avatar. It has, it's, to, be. It has to be. What yeah, are those it, odds, Tyler? Oh, still God. not the lockiest of logs. It's minus twenty five hundred. So like, still a lock. Just, but... Does that not surprise you guys? Wow. What was the other twenty five hundred? Yeah. What was the other twenty five hundred? It was. Um... Well, Kihei Kwan was the biggest at minus five. No, he was five thousand. What yeah. was the other twenty five thousand? Oh, I uh... forgot what we said. Because I think it was, I, I, I think it was international. All film. quiet all for quiet. international future. Yeah, yeah. I I can't believe that Kia Kwan is literally double. He's so, minus five thousand is crazy. Yeah, that's he's, that's so, he's, he's so king. Like, he's just so clear. It's nuts. It's all right, king. so yeah. we're moving on. Avatar: The Way of Water is winning visual effects. Anything else in the Oscars is stupid. Uh, yeah. Adapted screenplay. We got All Quiet, Knives Out, Living, Top Gun Maverick, and Women Talking. Again, this I is just did. one of those instances where only one of these films was nominated for Best Picture. Oh, no, Top Gun was nominated for Best Picture. Wow. Yeah. Forgot about that. I, I don't understand the adapted screenplay. No, because... three of them were. Women Talking was two. Women, yeah. Oh, women, yeah women Talking, talking was yeah, two? Women talking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, my God. I haven't seen Women Talking or Living still. Um, women Talking only just come out. I'm, I'm going with All Quiet. I'm going with All yeah. Quiet. Yeah, I, I'm going All Quiet, too. I think that's... Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't uh, want to say it's the obvious pick, but again, it's just it's why the why is, stand out. Why is Glass Onion adapted? Is that just because it's because God. all sequels are adapted? Uh, all yeah. sequels count as adapted. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll go with All Quiet. I, I just learned clear. that as well. Yeah, yeah, um, and then moving on to uh, oh, I'm, sorry, I'm going Women Talking just because that's my favorite of these, and I oh. think if it's gonna win one award, because like so we george like as you know like usually like whatever wins screenplay wins picture but like all the kind of real contenders for picture are in the original screenplay yeah, side of things so i think adapted screenplay has a little more wiggle room to be like really any of these yeah um but women talking is what i'm gonna go for just because i think like a it's my favorite of these and b like it, it you know politically it's a good move for the oscars i think yeah 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 i agree and then, yeah this is again it's one of those categories where i wouldn't mind seeing any of these win and like tyler said i don't think this award has a ton of impact on picture the way original screenplay does. Um, and we'll use that as a segue. So like Tyler said, and I've been an advocate of this for a while, historically, the winner of original screenplay goes on to win best picture. Um, um, so this is arguably the biggest award of the night because it is the first of the major awards outside of supporting actor that gets read. Um, we got the Banshees of the Nisharan, everything, every all at once, the Fablemans, Tar, and triangle of sadness. Um, I have yeah. to go with every. I have to go with everything, every all at once, only because I think it's going to win best picture and best director. So there's no world in which I see it winning picture, winning director, winning supporting actor, possibly winning support uh, best actress, and then not picking up original screenplay. Um, the fact that the fact that um spielberg's on here as well i don't know like the fact that he's not the, the famous nominated for screenplay did he get nominated for best picture he did didn't he yes yes yeah, yeah i'm best director i don't know out of five um and they chose to have the fame ones on that i still think spielberg's winning the best director screenplay i would probably say obviously i'd want banshees i'd say everything ever all wants out these five yeah that's easy yeah i think, uh, yeah. I, think uh, I think banshees I, while I think everything everywhere all at once is the better movie, I think Banshees has the better writing. Like I think, how Banshees, often does that happen? I, I don't think it will. So I think Banshees should win this category, but I'm not under the you know rule of if they win best original screenplay, they'll win. Yeah, I don't movie. know. So much about, if, like... if we're going off that rule, I think everything everywhere all at once will win. Uh, is that the favorite, Tyler? So fun fact. So on FanDuel. The favorite is minus 135, everything, everywhere, all at once, and then minus 110 for Banshees. 
On DraftKings, oh. the favorite is Banshees, minus 150, plus 110 for everything everywhere. So if you're very strong about screenplay and you want to I'll pick between Banshees, those two, then choose a different site because you can get better odds for whatever one you're picking. The odds are flipped on both sites. But for me, I'm going to go... Uh, so I'm going to go everything everywhere all at once, but my favorite like screenplay, honestly, of these five might be Tar. Just saying. Um, but I think Banshee's also fantastic. I, yeah, I think everything overall at once might be like my third or fourth screenplay in this, but I'm going to pick it to win. I'm going to make an outrageous claim here and, and say I think Steven Spielberg's a fraud. I, I don't think he wrote The Fablemans a whole lot. I think he was just kind of there while this Tony Kushner was writing, and he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get credit on this. I don't think – I'm just calling it now. I don't think he did a whole lot for it. All right. Same. There you have. There Same. you have it. Yeah, Cam's prediction of the night. Just life story. It, Steven Spielberg it, didn't really. Yeah. Steven Spielberg well, is going to be standing exposed. there like. I think he was standing there like saying things, but I don't think he was writing it. <laughs> Calling him a fraud. Jesus Christ. All right, Shut let's up. let's move on to the final award, um, and that is obviously best picture. All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, Banshees, Elvis, Everything Everywhere, The Fablemans, Tar. Top Gun Maverick, Triangle of Sadness, Women Talking, Everything Everywhere is my pick. It's still my pick. Even running through these awards just now, I haven't changed that pick. I think they're still the favorite. Again, I think they're going to pick up that original screenplay award. I think they're going to pick up the Best Director Award. And then it would only make sense for them to end the night as the big winners. Um, Seth, who do you think is going to win this award? I don't know. Like, I would assume that Everything Everywhere is like the... I'm going to guess, Tyler. I'm going to say Everything Everywhere is like a minus 300. Around minus, that kind of mark. Minus 1,200. Wow. Well, okay, yeah. Wow. I didn't. I thought Banshees might be like... Jesus. I, okay, yeah, I'll go Everything Everywhere once then. I think that's... Yeah. I'm on Everything Everywhere all at once. Yeah. The, I the didn't thing, realize it was that high. Wow. No, it's, yeah, it's... it's it's crazy, like how how much all the all the everything ever all at once categories have been rising after the SAG with like Jamie Lee sh- shooting up and stuff. But the thing is, we always talk about you know there's people have been tweeting saying like oh award season's too long, which I agree with, and it's too annoying to keep up with all these award shows, which I absolutely agree with. But the reason why people do it so much is because like I remember way back when the Golden Globes happened, and George and I were like, oh it's a two two man race, the Fablemans and Banshees, and then George was like, hey, it's gonna be the Banshees, I'm like it's gonna be Fablemans, and now it's looking like both of those movies are gonna very likely get shut out from every single award they're nominated for so that's why at the end of the day every year people just lose their minds over award season because it changes so freaking much like that so mm-hmm. yeah because Ban- banshees is the third most likely fablemans is the fifth most likely um well, second all, all quiet um hmm. all quiet. Wow. So, wow yeah which which also if it's second favorite for best picture and doesn't win international picture that's just the, the, the weirdest yeah. thing ever but yeah my, my picks everything everywhere horrible. it's my is it my high yeah it's my highest rated of all the nominees so I'd be technically happy if it won, so I'll, I'll go everything everywhere all at once to my pick, and that's also who I want to win. Um, yeah. I, I, you know, a lot of people say, like, oh, all, like, all movie and art forms are subjective. I just need it to be known. When I speak, it's the truth, because 2020, <laughs> 2021, I've been, my two best have been best pictures. And now in 2022, my my best is going to be best picture. Yeah, but that does Oscars don't mean anything. Hey, when I you speak know this. the truth, all right. If I tell you it's the best movie of the year, you go put that in the house. You you put your you put your family on the line for an Oscar win because Parasite, Coda, and now everything everywhere all at once. I'll go back to 2019. Let's see. Cam is I, I the guru. It. So is it, did everyone already pick? Yeah. Uh, what yeah. do you What do you think? Which of these ten would be the most like jaw dropping of the night? Like if they said this name, you'd be like, Not "Holy shit!" I think Elvis I think yeah. for me. I think Elvis favorite. would be the craziest no. win. I don't, yeah, no, I don't, El- I don't. Elvis would be the. So I think wild. I think like if women women talking won, it would be like a wild win because I don't think a lot of people saw it. That I, yeah I, no. I, like, so I think there's more wild wins than Elvis in terms yeah. of odds, but I think Elvis in terms of like what most people have seen and like most people saying like this should not be a best picture, and then like if Elvis won, I think it'd be oh, the most controversial. Wild, I think Top Gun Maverick would make right. people right. because I think like Triangle of Sadness and Women Talking are the lowest odds. Women Talking and Triangle of Sadness are the lowest odds. But like if they name that, a lot of people would be like, oh, I haven't seen that one yet. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna yeah. have to or, or it's it. a really good film. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think I think you're probably right. Then it says audience reaction. Elvis is probably regarded the lowest on this list. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I think he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think. Yeah. I think. I think. It wouldn't make people like go insane. 
because they couldn't believe it. But I think Top Gun Maverick would make people very happy to yeah. to see it win. I think it would also make some people very unhappy. I think it would make a lot of people question Scientology's yeah. power. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, true. Yeah, that would get yeah. a lot and of people like, theories behind it. I think there are more people that, like the vast majority of Top Gun Maverick, people that have seen Top Gun Maverick, like enjoyed it and thought it was an awesome time, than, than didn't. Like, no, I, I agree. I, I think mm-hmm. most people thought it was a great film. We all we all really liked it here. I just think that Top Gun Maverick compared to films of more importance, people would get annoyed at that being picked. Right. Like yeah. over even just uh, an all quiet a woman talking, they're just more important films. And if that yeah. got picked, it'd be like, yeah, what are we doing? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. All right. That's we fair. will wrap up our uh, awards predictions here. Um, I'm going to send you all like a sheet of every single nomination so you can like actually click and pick it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we're going to make it a little game. Who who predicts the most awards uh, correctly, and the winner gets bragged. Make sure right. you stick. You should do that with our. You've said. Yeah, we're just stick to the ones we said on this pod for the for the podcast purposes. Like for our ballots, yeah. we post on Twitter, whatever yeah. we can change. But like for our podcast scoring purposes, yeah. Yeah. we have stick to stick to, to what one. we said I, on here. I already forget okay. when I was picking for like short. Films. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> so, well, well, good. You're going to give us another view on the podcast when you yeah, watch yeah, back. I go back and watch. To be quite honest with you. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Real Quick, episode 25. These were our Oscar predictions. Um, uh, Again, we are on uh, pretty much every social. Uh, Follow us, like us, subscribe us. we got our Patreon going. Shout out everyone that's on there supporting us. Um, And we will wrap that up there. Uh, Tune in for the next episode. Peace and blessings.